Do you want to master the essentials of project schedule management and confidently build your project schedule easily using Primavera P6? Believe me, it's not difficult. Regardless of the size or number, whether you are handling a small, medium or a very large scale project, Primavera P6 is one of the best solution for you. Remember, the schedule building process and creating your project schedule is easy. Now, let's understand one of the very important concepts, which is the basis of every project schedule you create. No matter whatever industry or service sector you are working with, whether it's IT, telecommunication, oil and gas, finance, management, marketing, etc. What matters is the logic, the process. I would suggest to understand and keep the process into your mind while working on and developing your project schedules. And I'm sure you will develop, maintain and control your project schedule with confidence and quickly like a pro. More or less, you will follow the same concept whether you are using Oracle Primavera P6 or Microsoft Project or it may be any other schedule management software, the same concept and the process of schedule building applies everywhere. So, I would suggest to remember and learn the schedule building process well. Let's understand this process step by step. We will create enterprise project structure in the Primavera P6 if it's not created previously. Enterprise project structure is simply a logical and meaningful arrangement of all the projects in your organization. As a first step, after the EPS, we will create a project in the Primavera P6 database. Then in the step 2, by keeping our project objectives and end product into our mind, we will break down and divide our whole project work into parts or sections or more precisely, WBS is a decomposition of your project work that has to be executed by the project team to accomplish projects and results. So all the work in the WBS has to be identified, estimated, scheduled and budgeted. I mean, the project work breakdown structure or WBS is created at this stage. In the next step, we create and sequence the project activities, estimate their duration under each WBS elements as per our project objectives. Please note that an activity is a single unit of work which needs to be completed within its defined period of time and always it has the set deadlines. Next, the relationship between activities such as finish to start, start to start, start to finish or finish to finish is defined. Please note that we will explain the activity relationship types in a separate lesson. In order to complete the work for the project activities or tasks, we will create and add resources in Primavera P6 database for these project activities. Then we will assign these resources to the project activities. In fact, a resource type can be referred as a labor, non-labor or a material resource. After, we will assign resources cost to our project activities if required. An important thing to mention here, Please remember that you can create your project schedule type as a resource or unresource even without assigning the budget or cost to the project activities. So it purely depends on the type of your project schedule you want to create. Also, it depends on your project needs or objectives. Then, in order to monitor and to observe any variations from the original plan, we will create, set and assign project baselines. In fact, a project baseline is a fixed reference point used to measure and compare your project's progress. 
to define working and non working time or days for our project tasks we will work and assign calendar to our projects then we update and maintain our project schedule the cost and the activity status on regular basis lastly keep monitoring your project to make sure that it's progressing well and that everything on the project is working exactly as per the plan and as per expected project and results or a product as a project manager keep an eye on your project work and the changes your project schedule may have quality and the cost etc please note that we are going to learn and perform all these steps using primavera p6 in the coming lessons as we go through the course at this stage i'm sure you have understood all the main project schedule building process steps in general and let's move on to start our next lesson now